Hi guys, Dave here with you. Thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do give us a like, a share, a comment. All those things really help us out. Hey, today we got a special treat. Our friends at Yukon Glory sent us a new tool to try out on our grill, and it's called the Grill and Serve. So let's see what comes in the box. So we got a stainless steel pan with three really cool stainless steel trays that nest right down in it. And it looks like we've also got a special handle for it. Let's see how this handle works. It just goes like that. Oh yeah, and that lifts it right out. And then we'll just put it on our grill. Right there. Hey, look at that. That's awesome. Now we can cook, keep our stuff warm. We can cook in these. And they just sit there right like that. And then when we're done, they just go right back in here, like this. And like this. And then we'll be able to just pick it up, take it in the house, and serve everything fresh and hot. So let's get going and make something super tasty. I thought about what we could make with this, and I'm thinking some fajitas would be really good. I've got my grill grates down, uh, three of them inserted in there down, and I've got the, as you saw before, I've just got my old cast iron grate in here under that. So I went down to the butcher shop, and I was looking for some skirt steak. They didn't have that. And then I was looking for some plank steak, and, well, they didn't have that. So I got me some tri-tip. I cut it into about quarter-inch strips against the grain. The marinade that I used is pretty simple. It's got some olive oil, some orange juice, some lime juice, and some of the Blackstone brand taco fajita seasoning in it, along with some salt and pepper. So this marinade, they've been marinating for probably four to or five hours now in the refrigerator and I'm sure they're going to be really good. Also, for a side dish, I wanted to make some refried beans on the side. So let's get that started first and let them be warming up. Now, my recipe for refried beans is pretty simple. You just take a, a can of beans and dump them in the, in the pan like so. I like to add about a half a can of Rotel. It's got tomatoes and onions and chilies and spices and it's just really really good so I want to add about a half a can of Rotel. Next thing is a little bit of chipotle powder. I never knew you could get this. Boy my life changed when I figured out you could buy chipotle powder. <laughs> this makes life a lot easier. And some garlic and I like this squeezed garlic quite a bit. Yeah, a good amount like that. And some oregano. So we're just going to drop some oregano in there. Like so. And a little bit of black pepper. Like this. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to add salt yet because I want salt to taste. All right, now we've got that mixed up. We don't really need these trays just yet. So we're going to set them off to the side. We're just going to kind of stack them up right here because we're not ready for them. So we'll set them up here kind of out of the way until we're ready for them. And in the meantime, we're going to take our, our beans and get them right up here in the hot spot to get going and start, uh, start getting warmed up. Turn that on medium for both of those. they got some lime slices. I've got some onion and some jalapenos that I've cut up. And I've also got some red peppers and some green peppers uh, that have been cut up and ready to cook. So let's get going with our peppers first. And we're going to spray just a little bit. That's down. Just a little bit of olive oil right there. Okay. Now we'll turn these guys up all the way. And let's get going with some peppers. Let them just start sizzling on our grill grates. Get a nice char on them, like so. Got our red ones down. Now let's do our green ones. 
And now let's put some onions down. And we'll make some room back here for a few jalapenos. Let them be charring in the background. Okay, these guys have all got a nice char on them now. So what I want to do is I want to finish cooking those. It's in the Yukon Glory grill and serve baskets. So let's put these back down now in here. All right, I think our peppers are done and our onions are done. Let's get them in one of the baskets to stay warm and start cooking up some fajita meat. We're just going to put all these guys right in here. We had one escape. Now we're going to put some onions in there. And so, yeah, that looks like a nice little grill basket full of vegetables, man. That looks great. That looks so. Now, I did pound this chicken out. Looks like it kind of got nice and nice and marinated there, doesn't it? Yeah. Good, good, good. Oh boy, does that look good. Oh man. Oh yeah, we're getting some nice sear on that steak. Oh, that's great. Look at that. What I want to do now is I want to cut this across the grain and I'm just going to cut right on our grill grates. Like so. Yeah. Oh, very tender. What's the right tool for the job here? How about this one? This might work better. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's working good. How's that look? <laughs> oh man, that looks like some chicken fajita perfection. I want to put some more of this steak in there. How are the peppers looking? Oh, they're staying nice and warm and finishing cooking. Steaks are going to be nice and warm without being dried out. That'll be good. And is our chicken ready? Yeah, I think that's ready. This chicken is so tender. It's actually just cutting with the spatula. That's how tender that chicken is. Let's just warm up some limes on this one. Now the only thing left to do is to make some tortillas. So we've just got some basic flour tortillas here. I've got this all the way on high and we'll just throw some Tortillas down. I love grilled citrus. Grilled oranges, grilled, grilled limes, lemons, it's all good. It just changes the flavor a little bit. I think they're done. Really, like I say, you just want to warm them up, warm them up a little bit. Time to eat. Now the way this is designed is it's grill and serve. So we're going to take it right off the grill and we're going to take it in the house, put it on the table. I got hungry people sitting there waiting for dinner and let's just show you how that works. Wait a minute, we're not going to do exactly that. Uh, I'm going to taste it out here, but I want to show you how these go in the, in the pan. Uh, but I'm just going to do a tasting out here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my peppers, put them right there, take my steak and my happy pinas, put them right there, and then I'm going to take my chicken, and it's going to go right there. And then, as you can see, the bottom of this pan is not hot. There's a, there, these don't rest all the way in the bottom. So I could bring this in and I'm just gonna set this on this plastic table and not even worry about it. I've also got this tray that I had. So I'm gonna kinda do the same thing with, I'm gonna put my, my beans on one corner and my tortillas in the other corner. I've got some of these ice tongs that'll go great right there, right there, and right there. I'm going to start out with some steak in that one, 
And then we'll do some onions, some red peppers, some green peppers, and a little piece of jalapeno right there. Okay. Now the next one's going to be chicken. And the last one is going to be a veggie. So we're just going to put some veggies down there. And then I'm going to take some beans and splash some right there. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese on them. The part that I don't spill on the tray will go on the food. And then I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime on all of it, like so. Does that look like a nice plate of fajitas done on our grill and serve from Yukon Glory and our grill grates from Grill Grate? I gotta try that steak one. The steak one first. Mmm. Guys, that's wonderful. Man, that tri-tip really came out good. Tender, flavorful from that marinade. Really good. Now we gotta go with the with the chicken one. Mmm. That chicken one's really good too. How did our beans come out? Oh boy. Mmm. Delicious. Well guys, there you have it. The new grill and serve from Yukon Glory works great. I think this turned out to be an excellent cook. It's all delicious. I had a lot of fun bringing it to you. I hope you enjoyed watching me do it. So thanks for sticking around. Until next time, let's just see what's next for today. Thanks.